Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Lawrence Trading Academy. I am again here with my Hook 212 triple shot. And what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how to back up your waypoints and your settings. Um, I can't tell you how many different people I've spoken with where something happened with their unit and they never backed up their waypoints and uh, they lost years worth of information. I highly suggest uh, just every now and then, you know, maybe every couple fishing trips, go in and back up your waypoints on there. Um, I believe it's really important because, again, like I said, I've talked to so many people who were devastated, who lost 10 years worth of information uh, just because they never backed it up. Now, just because you have an SD card in the unit doesn't mean they're automatically saving to it. You have to manually do it yourself. It will not do it automatically. So let's go ahead and get started. All you got to do is press your pages button right here, which brings us to our home screen. Then we're going to arrow up to our storage option here. I go over to it, I press enter. Now you're going to see your different options. Now you can do different things from the screen. Um, you know, you can go in, you can view what's actually on your memory card. Um, you can, you know, back up stuff. You can view, uh, maybe you took some screenshots. You want to copy them to your card so you can view it on your computer, different stuff like that. Uh, and I'll go over that here um, on another video. Um, but for now, if we want to back up our waypoints, what we do is we just go down to where it says waypoints, routes, trails, and trip database. Now, before we do that, make sure that it says memory card right here at the top. Very important. It says that. If it doesn't say it, then you can't back them up to your card. It may be because your card is too large or the card's faulty or um, hopefully this isn't the case, but you might be have a bad card reader on the unit. But so what we're going to do is, we, like I said, we highlighted that there. We press our enter button. Now it pops up. We have these different choices. Now what you can do is you can export, export region, or you can even delete or purge. Now, for the sake of it, we're just going to go ahead and do export. Now, what export region does is actually allows you to go in and export just a particular area. So let's say you have waypoints that you've saved on multiple lakes. Well, maybe you don't want to back up all of them to that specific file because you're going to share them with somebody. Well, you can export just that region and then highlight the particular area and then save just that spot. But for right now, we're going to do them all. So we just hit export. Now it's going to give us a different file version formats. I usually recommend just choosing uh, number six. Now, if you are going to say share them with a buddy who has an older unit, like an LCX, uh, LMS, or even um, the, the older hooks or elites, you can only do version two or three with those. And so like click here and you can go down and you can choose different versions. Now, um, you'll notice that there's all these ones on here. Again, I recommend choosing the highest if you're just backing it up for yourself. Now what these different are is when you have your version two, that is just very basic information, saves the waypoint, the icon, and your coordinates. That's it. As you can see, version 3 says with depth. It does the same thing, except that it will add your depth reading that you were at that particular point in time when you saved the waypoint. Um, just kind of gives a little additional information. Now, version 4 gives you the ability to add notes um, to it. Um, so if you went in, you saved a waypoint, and then you added uh, just some little quick reference notes to that, um, allows you to save that on there. Now with the other versions on there, version 5 and 6, they're not actually anything that this unit will be able to utilize. Now because they like to use what they call NOS, the Navico operating system, um, across the board on all the different uh, units that they make, it's just a particular type of user interface platform. Uh, for them. Uh, they added in the version 5 and 6, which basically gives it the ability to see or even recognize those user files. So say if you had an HDS unit or even an Elite TI that you saved it under and then loaded it into this unit, it gives you the option to be able to just see it and import those, uh, those files. However, the additional information that was added on with 5 and 6 isn't actually available with this particular unit. Um, I will actually cover that on my HDS video, what those do, uh, but for now, um, we'll go down. Now, the last one here was our GPX. Now, that is the most common generic um, waypoint uh, extension. So, a lot of the other brands, so say if you're going to go to a Garmin, Humminbird, Raymarine, almost all of them use GPX. 
It's a very, very basic file. It only records the uh, the name and the coordinates and that's it. It doesn't record any other information on there. And so if you save it as that, when you go to load it back in, you're not gonna get all that extra uh, data like the, uh, the icons and you know information that you added to it or even the depth. Um, but if say you're having problems with corrupted data, uh, you know, you go to export, it won't import into another unit because it said it's corrupted. Go back and export it as the GPX um, because of how basic it is, it's a really great file to export out um, just to eliminate corrupted data. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and just choose version 6. And then you go down and you select export again. Now this is going to ask you where you want to save to. Now, I always recommend saving to the memory card. So we just select that. And then it gives you the option to expand or go to OK. Now, if you do expand, what it's going to do is it's going to drop down and allow you to save it into different folders that you may have saved on that memory card. But if you just want to save it to the root file of the card itself, which is what I recommend doing, just go to OK, press Enter. Now, on the last screen here, it gives us the option to name it. Well, it's going to always default to waypoints, routes, and trails. Now, you could go through and rename it to something else. So I could go in and delete things, or I could add it back in. I could say point. And then when you're done, you just go over here to enter, as always, and press the enter button. Now you'll get a little hourglass. Once the hourglass goes away, it means that it's saved. Now anytime I save these, I always recommend to go in and double check to make sure it's there. So what I do is I press my X button, now I go up to memory card, I press enter, and then I expand, and now you see my file here. Now you'll see it has a .usr extension. Now unless you're saving as the GPX, they're always going to have a .usr file extension at the end of the name. So anytime you're looking through some files and you see .usr, it lets you know that that is a waypoint file. Now other things have different file extensions, but what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to collapse that there. Now, the last thing, like I said, is we're going to back up our settings. Now it kind of does the same thing. Uh, it's just done the same way. So we highlight settings database. We select it, ask me where I want to save it to. I choose my memory card. I'm going to save it to the root file of the card. So I highlight OK and I press enter. Now it gives me the option to name it. I like leaving it at settings, uh, it just kind of lets me know what it is at a quick glance. So I arrow over to enter, I press enter, I get the little hourglass, and now it says export complete, it lets me know it's done. Now again, I like to check it, so I go back up to memory card, enter, I go to expand, enter. Now I see my settings file. Now sometimes it'll be .h set, sometimes it's just .set. Um, different units like the hooks will put the H in front of it, let it know it's a hook setting file um, because they're very specific. Now, say if you have a, a TI or a, a, an HDS, um, those can actually share the settings files, and so it'll just be a .set file, .set. But, like I said, this is a hook to unit, so it puts the H in front of it. And that's basically it. Now, if we want to import them back in, you can just arrow, so let's say we go exit out here, just to start over. I press my pages button. I go up to storage. I press enter. Now I go to my memory card. I expand. Now we see those files that we just had. Now if I want to put those into my unit, I save my waypoints. I highlight my waypoint file. I press enter. Now I have the option to do a few things, import, copy, rename, delete, or close. Now copying them will not put them into your unit. All that does is it creates a copy of that file. So make sure important you go to import. I press enter. Now it says, are you sure I want to? I say yes. Gives me a little hourglass. Now it says that it's done. It told me how many waypoints it put in, how many routes, and how many trails. And then I just can hit close. Same thing for settings. Now if I go to WIT, it's gonna reboot my unit as it reloads my settings back in. But I can select it, I can select import, 
It's going to say, are you sure you want to? The display will restart. I say yes. It's going to load. Now it's restarting. Now this is common. It's supposed to do that. Now when the unit loads back up, uh, any settings that I may have had on there um, will be defaulted back to the settings that I had just imported. So I just hit accept. Now it puts me right back on here. Now it's asking me if I want to use the inserted mapping card. I can say yes. That's kind of a, a common thing that it'll do anytime you have a, a mapping card in there and you turn the unit on. So I'm just going to say yes. And so that's really about it. It's as simple as that. You can just do everything for the, the storage menu here. Um, and uh, well, guys, I hope you learned something today. Um, these hook two units, they're really basic, really easy to use. You just kind of have to, you know, learn how to do it. But then, you know, once somebody shows you like what I'm trying to do, um, you know, it's, it's real simple uh, to use and you guys can, you know, get it down pretty quick. All right, well, that's it for today, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please like it below and hit the subscribe button and the little bell. This will allow you to get notifications every time I release a new training video for your favorite Lorance product. Also, I wanted to give you guys some really exciting news. We will have our very own website pretty soon, LorantzTrainingAcademy.com. It's going to have even more of your favorite in-depth, comprehensive training videos, so keep an eye out. Of course, I'll be sure to let you all know along the way when it will be up and running. And don't forget, when you watch videos from Lawrence Training Academy, the difference is night and day. Alright, I'll see you all next time.